Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a DOE analysis using JMP. DOE is a series of experiments conducted to see the outcome when several factors are changed. The intention is to find out which factors are really affecting the outcome. With these understanding from the result of the analysis, further study can be conducted to understand how to control the outcome by adjusting the important factors. Sometime one factor may affect the other one too. In JMP, we'll be using the modern DOE design. But before we start, let's get familiar with the terms used in JMP. Let's open up JMP. Go to DOE tab and select Custom Design. This is the DOE window. Response is the outcome of your experiment. You can measure one or more than one response for your experiment. Let's look at one example of a DOE experiment. Assuming that you are an apple farmer. You wanted your apple tree to produce more fruits and larger size. These are your desired outcome. In JMP this is call response. You consulted some expert and he recommend to try different fertilizer, watering amount and different pesticide to increase the fruits and its size. These are the factors that might make a difference to your response. Now let's go back to DOE window. Enter both of your desired outcome into response table. Quantity, your goal is to maximize the fruits. The second one is size, which is also you wanted to maximize its size. In this experiment, size of the fruits is two times more important than, than the quantity. Enter 1 to quantity and 2 to size. OK, we are done with response table. Now, let's move on to factors. Factor 1 is fertilizer type. You have two types of fertilizer. So you select categorical and two levels. Enter fertilizer as name. Change L1 to fertilizer name. For example A. And L2 to B. Factor 2 is amount of watering. You want to compare the current method, which is one-time watering to two-time watering. Now, you select categorical and two levels. Enter watering as name. Change L1 to 1x and L2 to 2x. The third factor is pesticide type. You have two types of pesticide. So you select categorical and two levels. Enter fertilizer as name. Change L1 to pesticide name. For example X and L2 to Y. Go to the bottom of the window and select continue. In this video, I will just show the basic DOE. So, let's just complete the exercise based on this. Look for the number of runs at the bottom. Minimum, default and user specified. This is the amount of experiment you need to do. Let's use default, which is 8. Click on Make Design button. You are going to run 8 experiments and in each experiment you change the factors according to the DOE design. At the Output option, click on Make Table. A new window will appear. This table show in each experiment which factors should you change. Collect your outcome of fruits quantity and size into the table. I will not cover how to control your experiments in this video. Once all data are entered, click on the small green triangle near model and click run. JMP will perform the analysis. In this, we will discuss these two tables. Effect Summary and Prediction Profiler Effect Summary table will show you which factors are significant to your response. Firstly, let's look at quantity. Look for parameter estimates for response quantity. In column terms are the factors. The probability more than T will tell us whether this factor is significant or not. As usual, we rely of p-value less than 0.05 to make decision. So, over here fertilizer is significant in improving your fruits quantity. 
Now, let's look at fruit size. For fruit size, none of the factor are statistically significant. By comparing the p-value, we are able to see which factor are more important than the other even by statistic, they didn't turn up as significant. Over here fertilizer is having the smaller p-value comparing with watering and pesticide. The next thing we are going to look at is prediction profiler. Let's look at quantity first. On the y-axis are the quantity and the x-axis are the factors setting. If you use a fertilizer, you will get 13.75 or 14 apples. If you use bee fertilizer, you will get 23.25 or 23 apples. For the watering, there is not much different. It's the same for pesticide. For apple size. Fertilizer A gave you larger fruits compare with B. For the watering and pesticide, there are not much different. That's all for basic DOE analysis. If you have question, drop them in the comment box. If you like the video, please subscribe and forward it to your friend that may find them useful. Thank you and have a good day.